Hello everyone watching on YouTube and welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D Stardust Accelerator. Continue where we left off. I believe today we get to meet Best Girl. We also have one more puzzle to do, I think, but we're going to hold off on that because I just want to start today from the get-go going to uh, do the Black Rose stuff. So let's get it. Save again in here because I can. Jet, hello. Welcome to stream. Welcome back from your vacation. I'm Angie, the dueling princess. Cheer me on, sweeties. All right, I don't ever want to talk to you ever again, to be honest. Sup, kids? I wonder what the witch is like. You don't even know that? How should I know? I've never met her. I can't believe they have actual screams in this game. Yo! That is not a flattering picture of Black Rose Dragon. What is wrong with its head? There she is! The witch! It's the witch! Yo, that dude's dead. Oh, and Keys is not even, like, in her hood or anything. Hey. You wouldn't happen to be single, would you? What the heck? I'm a signer in this game? They don't even let you be a signer in Reverse of Arcadia. A strong jolt of lightning runs through your head. A fragment of your memory has returned. Being a, This game ends at the Fortune Cup, doesn't it? Being a signer almost isn't even relevant. What are you hiding under that hand? This is this is my arm, ma'am. What is that symbol supposed to be? Is this the the spine of the Crimson Dragon? That's the mark of the Crimson Dragon. You also have this wretched power. It has to be banished. Prepare to duel. Oh, here we go. That power. You can't have that power. You can't handle the truth. Yo, Akiza is going to mop the floor with me. Her her grass deck. Grass deck? Her plant deck is very spooky. Here we go. All right, I get to go first. That's good. Uh, if I luck into Horus level eight early, we could actually really get away with this because... Okay, I didn't draw like any Horus cards. I was gonna say, Akiza's deck is not well suited to deal with spell cancellation. It's the tail? That can't be the tail that I have because Yusei has the tail. Yeah, see, if I had horse level 8 right now, we'd be in such a good position. The World Tree. I don't recognize this card. This card is the thing that lets you special summon plants, right? Once per turn, you can select one plant in your, grave, in your graveyard special summon. You cannot normal summon or set the turn you special summon with this. If a monster special summoned by this effect is removed from the field, destroy this card. It's pretty good. Each time a plant monster on the field is... Sorry, something in my throat. Uh, each time a plant type monster on the field is destroyed, place a flower counter. You can remove to activate this effect. Remove one, target a face up plant monster. It gains four and 100 attack and defense. Remove two, destroy a card on the field. That's really good. Remove three, select one plant type monster from your graveyard and special summon it. Yeah, it's a really good card. It's not one of the main marks, it's one made for this game. Yeah, I figured. Like, I know what the actual marks look like. I'm trying to guess what the mark is supposed to be, though, because it's supposed to represent a part of the dragon's body, usually. Okay, so there's Horus, but I have no way for Horus to get the kill on this uh, Cephalotus here. I can do this. I'll be able to take 500 attack points away from you, which is just enough. Goodbye, 500 life points. But Cephalotus scares me because in a full-on plant deck, it can really pop off. What did you just do? Equip to a plant monster against 500 attack? Oh no, that's not good. That's very not good. Of all the face downs I expected, that's not what I expected. If this card is destroyed by a card effect while equipped, you can special summon a plant monster from your graveyard. Okay, calm down. 
please summon a monster on your turn so I can hit you with the uh, Torrential Tribute. Nice. Goodbye to everyone and everything. This is gonna give you some of those flower counters which scares me. Do you get two here? Okay, no, you only got one. This is fine. I can use this to get rid of the world tree. She's going to special summon back the Cephalotus is the problem here. And I have no answer for that. So we're actually in a really bad spot. Akiza's deck is a nightmare in all of the 5Ds games. These plant combos are strong. Sammy, welcome to stream. How you doing? We might lose this first go, which I'm perfectly ready to do. If I destroy this with Dust Tornado right now, will it stop you from summoning it? I think you're still going to get to do the summon, but I'm going to try this because I'm in a really bad spot if you get that Cephalotus back. Does it still go through? Okay, no, it doesn't. Awesome. Oh, and you're going to let me get Arm Dragon level 5 out. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. We got something here. We got something here. Dark Valkyrie is a good backup. I will level up. I'm worried about that face down. But I think we'll be okay. I highly doubt you have Mirror Force. So I think I'm going to be safe to do this. And we're just going to see how this goes. This face down is probably Wall of Ivy, but I'm still going to try to kill it with level 4 Horus. No, it's Rose Whip, which is still too strong. Dang. I really wanted to be able to get Horus level 6 out, because if we can get Horus level 8 out, we'll be in such a good position. A lot of Akiza's deck, in my experience, relies on spell cards. So if Horus... Oh, I forgot that now you're going to be able to use that as well. That's bad. She'll be able to destroy Arm Dragon level 5. Even though she's going to be able to do that, I'm still going to level up Arm Dragon level 5 because I do not want to draw Arm Dragon level 7. It'll be a worthless draw. Do you become a signer in Reverse of Arcadia towards the end? No, I don't think you do. I think at the end of Reverse of Arcadia, you get the entire Crimson Dragon mark. You don't get, like, just... You don't get one signer piece. I think they give you the entire... It's been a while since I beat the game, but they give you the entire mark for, like, the one duel against Goodwin, and then it stops existing. Hey, it's my Cephalotus. Get him. All right, here we go. Horus level six. Perfect. Perfect. Botanical girl. That is Akiza. She is just the botanical girl. Oh, and my Cephalotus is becoming stronger from your nonsense. Let's go. I don't know how Horus's effect works for continuous spells like this. I wonder if she tries to use that card if Horus level 8 will be able to be like, no, you can't use it. Or if Horus level 8 is only on play. Horus level 6 will definitely be safe from its effect because he's Horus level 6. Spells mean nothing to him. I still think I made the right call getting rid of the uh, Miracle Fertilizer when I did. But we are in a bit of a rough spot now with this continuous spell still up. Ooh, but I think I win because I drew Nobleman of Cross out. So I should just win this turn anyway. Nothing to worry about. She didn't even get to summon Black Rose. How unfortunate. Hey, check this out. I'm calculating your defeat. Get her. Zippity zappity. I'm amazed at how well the calculator does in this deck. Sorry, best girl. You know how it is. Sometimes I even scare myself. Red Frozen Angel, thank you for subbing with Prime for 44 months. Holy cow. What is that? That's four months away from four years? 
That is insane. Thank you so much for the support. Greatly appreciated. Is Akiza best girl in all of Yu-Gi-Oh? I would say so, yeah. I think she's the best girl in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, good talk. See you later, Akiza. Have a good one. What's up with her? She scares me solo. Some people like that in a woman. So you know. So that's the witch. Wow, to think I was planning to go up against that. Solo, is your arm okay? Did you get hit? Really? I guess if you say so. Well, we should get going. See you, Solo. Take care, Solo. All right, goodbye, random children that I met. Oh, my arm's back to normal. So I have the same thing going on that you say did, where the mark just comes and goes at its leisure. A few days later, have I been staying in this bar for the past few days? Where have I been sleeping? Okay, well, let's, uh, you know, now seems like a good time to do this. Well, actually, we should go buy some cards first. Actually, actually, what we should do is go back in here and see if we can duel some other fools before we continue the story, because I want to be able to buy some more card packs. Sup, losers, duel me. You're going down. Hello there. Above ground light? That is how most light works. Which card do you get with the tattoo? I doubt they're gonna give me a dragon. That'd be cool though if they gave me a sign or dragon. All right, this is, I was about to say not the best hand I've ever started with, but I've started with worse hands than this. So this isn't too bad. All right, that's a little spooky. What is this? This is Dust Tornado, okay. Oh, you're a Light Sworn deck. That makes sense because your deck says light in it. Oh, this is not good. My effect won't stop you because you're gonna be at 2100. Yeah, that blows. This card attacks against 300 attack during the damage step during each of your end phases in the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, yep. That is not good for me. Now we've got a bit of a bad start going because I need something that can beat this. Do you still only have one level four Horus? Yes. It is painful and continues to be painful to this day. Okay, Blazing and Pachi is actually the perfect draw here because he cannot destroy Blazing and Pachi even with his effect. I just need Blazing and Pachi to last one turn. All right, Cold Wave is fine. This is fine. I didn't see that other Light Sworn's ability, but I think we're okay. Perfect, perfect. Oh, what do you do? Oh, you have Honest, I hate you. Each time a card is sent from your deck to the graveyard by the effect of a Light Sworn, except Light Sworn Warrior, send the top two cards of your deck to the graveyard, then draw one card for each Light Sworn monster sent to the grave via this way. Okay. All right. Who do I summon here? I know I have Horus level four in my hand, but I think I summon Horus level six destroy the light sworn on light sworn on the left and then i'll get to summon horus level eight and stop any spell cards he plays the alternative here would have been summoning arm dragon level five discarding horus level six and then destroying both of these monsters this turn but i think getting horus level eight out to stop all of his spells is more important oh I hate that card! Horus is, or not Horus, uh, Honest is the worst card in the game. It is the worst card Yu-Gi-Oh has ever produced. It is garbage and I hate it and I will not be dueling this guy again. I will never be dueling this guy ever again. 
I hate Honest. It's unfun. It's bad game design and shouldn't exist. I'm pretty sure we just lost because of Honest. Yeah, I think I lose by like 50 life points. It's so stupid. That's such a dumb card. I just love losing to a card that I couldn't have possibly stopped no matter what. No amount of spell and trap destruction. Like, no, literally nothing I could do. He drew Honest, so he wins. Any monster I play immediately loses to, to Honest. It's a stupid garbage effect monster. Lightstorms are also just busted in the DS games. I won that duel, like, most likely, if he didn't have Honest, so I don't really care about that crap. It's literally just Honest. It is one of my least favorite cards ever in existence. If I could delete that card from every Yu-Gi-Oh game, I would do it in a heartbeat. If there was a mod to remove Honest, like a, a action replay hack to remove Honest from this game, I would do it in a heartbeat. It is, uh, it is an unfun card from conception. Mm, nope. Goodbye to you. Okay, well, you know. Not a whole lot I can do about the fact that Monster Reborn isn't banned for some reason. I have no idea why they unbanned Monster Reborn in 2009. It immediately ended up banned again because it's banned in 2010 and 2011. It sure was a decision they made in 2009. Why do you both have Cold Wave? Why do you also have a Light Sworn and why would you use it so incorrectly? Oh, because you're tuning. This is fine. Really wish I could summon Horus level four here. I'm 99% sure the AI can just choose to draw any card they want. No, that is not the case. I've seen too many AIs brick for them to be able to cheat like that. I believe Monster Reborn is at one and over the Nexus? I'm pretty confident you're wrong. The speed spell Monster Reborn you can use, I don't even think it's restricted. Because it takes like swel uh, 12 speed counters. But, uh... Thank goodness I had Horus level 8 in my hand, by the way. Otherwise, we would have been screwed here. But the normal card is still banned, I'm fairly certain. I mean, I've been wrong before, but... I feel like I would have been using Monster Reborn and remembered using it in Over the Nexus if it wasn't banned. Alright, we got the lead here. It's amazing how you can, like, have a fun and fair duel when, uh, when Honest isn't in the equation. Well... Lightning Vortex is here, though. Neo Spatian Dark Panther. I thought it was Black Panther. I mean, that's the MCU hero, but still. I guess it's... Well, it is called Dark Neos now that I think about it. I'm gonna save this fissure. Alright, I mean... Kinda of fair. Really glad that I saved my fissure now. Well, now we're both at the whims of the draw. So let's see who draws better. I just realized how many synchro monsters you have. What the heck? Alright, still at the whims of the draw. 